Iowa sports legend Sean Johnson is one of many sculpted in bronze at the Iowa Hall of Pride. However, one could create another life-size likeness of the gymnast from her countless gold medals alone. From her rookie year in 2004 to her retirement in 2012, the Des Moines, Iowa native from Valley High School captured national attention with her stunning performances on the balance beam and high-flying gymnastics. People are, are always like, where's Iowa? Or like, what's in Iowa? And they're always like shocked when I say I'm from Iowa, but I love it. You know, Iowa is home. And people always tell me to explain it, to tell them what Iowa's like. And I don't know how to explain it except for home. Everybody is so nice and so friendly and everybody is family here. And you know, it's, I feel like it's the greatest state ever. I feel proud to be from here because I feel like I'm finally helping put Iowa on the map and show everybody what a great place it is. Born in West Des Moines in 1992 to Doug and Terry Johnson, Sean would become quickly acquainted with the balance bar at a young age. Competing in gymnastics schools in her hometown under coach Liang Chow, Johnson epitomized the Iowa student athlete lifestyle, becoming a scholar student and attending up to 30 hours per week in practice. Earning the call to the international stage, Johnson's U.S. debut in 2004 was an unprecedented success, culminating in the World Championships. Her first day in the gym, you know, my wife and I, we both coached her together. And uh, we realized this kid is, you know, totally, totally loves gymnastics. And she got, like, unlimited energy to spend in the gym and she loves to learn the new stuff. And, uh, you know, we basically, from day one, you know, we realized that this kid is a very special because she loves learning, and she loves to put hard work in, into it. Well, Sean was a student of mine at Indian Hills Junior High. Her eighth grade year was when we started to know that that young lady was really going to be something. Um, she went to Belgium that year, and I had her in my communications media class, which was a print and broadcast one semester elective class. She thrived. She loved it. And she was going to be gone during our whole magazine unit. So her project while she was in Belgium was to create a magazine that reflected her experiences while there. It was just, she still has it. I wish she'd given it to me, but she tells me she has it. Nicknamed America's Sweetheart, Johnson had the spotlight on her performances, which she delivered in stride. She would claim a 2007 all-around world champion medal and world titles in the all-around, uneven bars, and balance beam in the same year. In her career, she amassed five Pan American Games gold medals and two U.S. team titles in 2007 and 2011. Adding in multiple silver medals to her trophy cabinet, she has one of the most impressive resumes out of any modern gymnast. Gymnastics te teaches you a lot of responsibility that transfers over. And, um, I get my stuff done and I still maintain my degree. So scary. I mean, to know that I could go to the biggest competition in the world and actually do pretty well. I mean, it's the scariest thing ever, but it's the most exciting feeling and it makes me feel really proud and honored to represent the U.S. and my, my gym. Though her career was cut short due to injury, Johnson battled through adversity her entire career and came out stronger than before each time, the mark of a true Iowan athlete. America's sweetheart was born and raised in the heart of Iowa and she'll be forever remembered by those who knew her as an excellent gymnast and an even better person.